walked through literally a landslide area. There's nothing up and it's a big massive fall down. All right, I'm scared to even record. I've never stayed in any one thing like this. It was very cold, but we did have heaters. But just look at this around me. At this beautiful hotel yesterday, which is called Stefan Punjab. <laughs> I still don't know. I've got to say, it was a memorable night for sure. I'll tell you that for a fact. I'll tell you that for free. I'll tell you that for nothing. But it was beautiful surroundings nonetheless. So, guys, we are just about to do our trek one and a half hours each way in Argosh Valley but just look at the surroundings surrounded by snow-capped mountains in the middle of this village yeah so let's do this <laughs> I'm Pali I'm Pali already are you Pali already? I'm Pali already you haven't done anything and I need to burn off these uh, apricot oil and cheese that we've been eating so let's do this one hour and a half trek each let's way go. so we are doing the same hike as a famous youtuber Travel blogger Eva Zubek. Eva Zubek. Did With the inspired. same tour guide. But where's Bosch? She actually inspired us to travel Pakistan. Yeah, true actually. Gotta give it to her, she's very, yeah. very good. Yeah. So now we're just walking in her footsteps. Eva, we wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have a water tank, water tank. right up there mm -hmm. and the water's fed from the spring up in the mountain over there. Yeah. That's mountain. Yeah. And then it goes into the houses in the village. In Jamalabad. Yeah. Yes. In fresh, fresh mountain. mountain water. Into you straight to your house. No charges. Yes, it's free of cost. Free of cost? No fluoride. No mixtures, no chemicals to treat it, because it's not needed. That is amazing. Okay guys, I'm not even kidding, this is getting tough, oh, actually, going uphill and it's high altitude, oh, gosh, and guess what, we didn't bring any water, first we clover like that, hey Fanny, are you okay? There's a footprint here, it's well so I just look here. It's like a cat's footprint there. There. One footprint there. It's very faint. And then in the shadow, you're in the shadow, but if you step to the side, there's one there. One there. He's going downwards. So what if we get to see one? I'll just lie there and let it eat me. No. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a cat. It's you only get to see the beautiful drone shots normally. We're not the hike up to these beautiful destinations. So I don't have the GoPro on me, but we just climbed, walked through literally a landslide area. There's nothing up and it's a big massive fall down. All right? I'm scared to even record, but literally there's no path. And it's just slippery all the way, one slip. We basically end up all the way down to the bottom of the bottom, so my tongue keeps getting in the way. But all to get a bit of a drone shot there. 
Oof. But I climbed across it and made it with the help of an expert tour guide. This is why you need people here when you come, because otherwise, literally no one comes up here, and you can you can get lost, and no one will find you around here. Really, it's quite hard. But we did it. Whew, I have to say that was the most scariest kind of little walk across I did. It's probably only about 100 meters, but oof, come on days. We live to tell the tale. <sighs> There's Nadia. <laughs> So we like taking shortcuts, don't we? Thorns. Basically, you got these really spiky thorns that we're trying to climb through. A one poked right in my butt cheek. Right. Yeah, sure. There. And yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Anyone up for a COVID vaccination? <laughs> Oh my god. So Nadia's a bit thirsty and she is going to have a bit of a drink of water. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Go and do it again. Nice? Yeah. Alright. Oh nice. Water. Delicious. Delicious. How was the trip? Really beautiful. Very scenic. Adventurous at the same time. How did it make you feel from within? I was scared at one point <laughs> when I was going through that little bit where there was a landslide. I thought I was going to roll all the way down to the bottom of the hill. But on the way back, because you know that you've done it one way, on the way back it was easy, wasn't it? On the way back. See, on the way, going on the landslide bit, I was like, oh, no, I want to go back, I want to go back. Is that what you said? Yeah. It was uh, the shoes just slipping. Yeah, they were just basically slipping. Every step I take, they were just slipping and then stopping, slipping. But on the way back, I just kind of walked back, held his hand for a bit, the, the more dangerous bit, and then walked back. It's not where these shoes. Yeah, we like, we like trekking, but just don't wear Converse. <laughs> Get a proper trekking shoes. Now we are approaching mini Switzerland. Check this out. Yeah. Look at that. We are in a local village called Jamalabad where our lovely host Barwez lives. So we <laughs> are going to now go probably have some water, maybe some tea. Love your tea, don't you? Oh man, I'm loving it here. And then chill for a bit, see the village, and then carry on with the day, I think. If you're looking for adventure, if you're looking for trekking, if you're looking for travel, if you want to be closer to China than Pakistan, then you will be in your Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. And the food, I mean, oh, is absolutely. Everything is fresh, so it's not like any of this frozen sort of produce that you have. Everything is organic. If you want chicken, Literally, they will make the chicken for you. There and there then, and I mean, then. it's not cooked. There and then, the milk is from the morning. It's not filtered down with water. Um, the oil is, you know, naturally pressed, pressed oils from local um, nuts and fruits. And yeah, I mean, we've been eating very kind of what I would say hearty, heavy food, but it's not that heavy. So next stop is Jamalabad village. So guys we have a, we have a sewing distribution here and we have the teacher over there in the red scarf. 
The ladies come here to learn how to sew. Have some tea. Hello, Hello. Hello. This is a famous, <laughs> famous hunter <laughs> of Jamalabad yeah. or around the world. I yeah. find it sitting next to your famous I know, I feel privileged hunter right now. right now. You don't want to mess with this guy. He'll shoot right through me. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> Yes, I'm looking forward to this cup of tea. After a cup of tea, the family then showed us around the house, and one of the rooms that really interested us was the dry food storage area. Now, everything that the family eats is sourced locally from the village, so it's really important to stock up during those cold winter months when nothing really grows. And this is what you're looking at now. This is a cold food storage area where the family stores stuff like apples, potatoes, grains, rice and other food items for up to 12 months. You've even got dried meats that can be aged up to six months. Now that's something which is fit for a New York steakhouse. <laughs> Garden. What an amazing way to live, eh? Place just to get your own apples, got your own wheat, got your own flour, own, your own apricots, apricots, own fresh mountain water. All you need to get from the bazaar is your oil, bit of oil some lentils if that's what you want to eat. Sugar. And yeah, that's, that's basically it. Simple life. Beautiful yeah. simple life. Gosh. <laughs> This cow's coming to coming at me and I'm a bit scared. Yes, how am I? Erfan's not even doing anything to protect me. <laughs> okay, then I'll get in front of you. Come on, Erfan. Do you like me? <laughs> Aww. This is the suspension bridge. Oh my god. Whoa. It's scary. It's scary. So Nadia is walking <laughs> across the suspension bridge. Yeah, you're having a great time. <laughs> but in Pakistan, everyone, you pose like this. everyone becomes a different person. Oh, hey guys. So, Hello. we hope you enjoyed our Pakistani adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button, even if you didn't like it. Just give us a like anyway. <laughs> and, and especially that bell icon so you're notified when we upload our next video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Subscribe.